oil or presidential citations. This is somebody who's committed to who understands that but for the grace of God and having the opportunities to do things for himself, he would be in uh, where, where we see guys on the opposite side of that trial table. And so it's going to take more people like Leon Burnells and other people who are out here who are advocating who really need that extra push to get out here and help these guys and redirect them. Because, I mean, that's it, and, and, that, and that's community-based. This man community is in base. the community, working for the community, by the community, to make a difference as far as redirecting our young men and giving them a ray of hope that you can do anything you want to do and be anybody that you want to be. You just need an opportunity. People make choices based on options. If you got positive options, you're going to make positive choices. You know? Come on, man. Uh, say something before we go. Yeah, I would. I would like to add. Well, you talk about mental health. That's where I came from. I was a psych therapist at Hopkins for a number. of I'm years. glad you clarified that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thought maybe you, know, you had a room in there. Mental you know? health thing has been an issue for a lot of years. And yes, we do have a big problem. Will they go to traditional clinics? No. We need non-traditional sites hmm. where people don't get the stigma of being crazy right. going into the site. So right. that's important. I've been telling them that for 18 years. We're trying to make a non-traditional site at the Men and Family Center uh, because if you come in there, nobody know what you're coming in for because we deal with everything. Um, you talked about a spongement. Uh, that's a joke. One of the things that, that, that really pisses me off is that um, we have an expungement system that only wipes away null processes and stats, but and you know some misdemeanors. But the real thing, some of the felonies that were falsely Im implanted on people and 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 found to be guilty on that junk, uh, they never want to uh, erase them. We would have to talk to somebody like the governor mm -hmm. to get those things expunged or wiped off. It's actually called a pardon. pardon right. And we, we know that don't happen for black folk. So you, you count the black people that a black got, man became got president, pardon. you can't get a pardon? They sure not in Maryland. You know, we talk about Maryland, we talk about our, our um, mayor. It's a shame that all these cuts to the programs to help black kids, all these programs to help develop black kids, of being cut. Yes, she had money that she could open up detention centers for those kids that got caught in the curfew thing. So tell me how you didn't have money. Yeah, how come you didn't have money for the rec centers, but you got money for that one, and you're going to bring in therapists, you're going to bring in case managers, counselors, and police officers. Now, in the rec center, you barely paying the people a decent salary. I work for the Department of Recreation. <laughs> so I know they're not getting paid any money. So two of those salaries could have paid the whole staff for uh, rec center.